I like seeing him speak in English. That's cool. Oh boy, what happened? The hell out. Whoa. Hello, Vanakam, and Namaste. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Yes, you, the one who clicked on the video. Thank you. All right, my name is Ken. I'm like the dad, the oppa, the papa of this channel, and you guys are the family members, at least if you subscribe, you're a family member. So you gotta hit the subscribe button, all right? Also, we do have something new here. It's called Patreon. You guys can sign up down below. You sign up for that. What you're gonna get is you're gonna get special videos you don't see here on YouTube. You're gonna have private conversations with me, and you're gonna get to suggest videos to me directly and also, um, you're gonna get to see some fun photos and behind the scenes things that you don't get to see here on YouTube. So check that out. All right, today's video is going to be me reacting to the Bloodstone movie trailer starring superstar Regini Kant. That's why I've got my Regini shirt on today. Um, by the way, you can get this at allmytees.com. They're from Chennai. All right, link will be down in the description. Bloodstone is a 1988 Indian American action film, okay? And I believe this was released in Hollywood but it was also dubbed in uh, Tamil, so people in Tamil Nadu area could watch it as well. Um, but anyway, it stars Rajini Kant, and this is from 1988, a Hollywood movie with Rajini Kant. I believe it was a Hollywood movie, okay? I, I'm not positive, I'm trying to do some research on this, but basically this is uh, Rajini, Rajini Kant's first English language film, okay? And it was mainly shot in Bangalore. Um, IMDB gives this a score of 4.2 out of 10. So it is not uh, ranked very well on IMDb. All right. However, um, I love the fact that Rajini Kant went out of his normal movie industry and did something different. So we're going to watch this um, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. OK, we'll talk about, you know, who else is in the uh, the movie itself. But let's just watch the trailer and then we'll give our opinions on it. And then we'll talk about Rajini Kant and the whole, you know, making an English movie and stuff. This should be pretty cool. So anyway, here we go. The stone of blood. Bloodstone. Seems like a neat job. Done right under Scotland Yard's nose. The legendary ruby should be returned to India. The bloodstone. Some newly woods. Ah, he's always the cab driver. I get the feeling this can be a profitable partnership. I like seeing him speak in English, that's cool. Oh boy, what happened? Whoa. Oh, Someone kidnapped my wife. Van Hoven is the one you want. He's wanted the ruby his whole life. What do you want? A simple exchange, your treasure for mine. And Hoven gets the ruby, I get my wife. And we both get the hell out of India. No problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some fight scenes going on here. I love a man who can give me a good fight. <laughs> when you're faced with a problem, get in and get the hell out. Superstar Ashita. You promised to let me go. You're dead right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get into my thoughts on this. All right. Um. All right, hold on. Let me pull up our cast here because I want to. So, uh, Brett Stimley plays the main character there, um, along with Rajini Kant. Okay, I hate to say this, but 
Brett Steinle, he just looked like there's some bad acting right there. I hate to say it, but a lot of the 80s movies in Hollywood and stuff, there was just some bad acting going on. There really, really was. Um, that guy just seemed, it's like he couldn't deliver the lines correctly or something. I don't know. I just watched him and I was like, they could have picked a better lead role for this because that guy just, I don't know, he seemed, I don't know. It Something seemed off with him uh, as far as like the way he was delivering the the lines and things like that it just he needs to take a lesson from Rajini Kanth okay you need to know how to deliver your lines properly okay and um I just felt like he just I don't know he just kind of seemed cheesy and lame but that's just my personal opinion I don't know what else that guy's been in um who knows uh let's actually click on his IMDb I'm interested to see if he ever got any other kind of roles uh, later on in life. Well, I don't know. I mean, look at that. He was in Watchmen and par- he was in some uh, Transformers. What really? Uh, maybe he got better as an actor or something. I don't know because I was not impressed. Oh, uh, I know why he got the role. He was a TV. Um, he was in The Young and the Restless. That was a, yeah, that's probably why he got that. Um,. Uh, and he was in a couple other TV shows in the 80s here that I recognize in the 90s. So maybe he got better as an actor. I don't know. Maybe he got better. So who knows? All right. So um, anything. Anyway, it, that was cool seeing Regina Khan speak in English, dude. I love watching that. I, you know, I, I know the movie got really bad reviews, um, really, really bad reviews. But that's OK. I, dude, it would probably be fun to just watch him in the entire uh, the entire movie speaking English. Um the movie itself, I mean, the trailer wasn't that bad. I mean, it was it wasn't good. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't good, but it wasn't that bad either. I mean, it's a fun adventure film. You've got action. You've got some fight scenes. They're you know going after this ruby. You got the kidnapped girl. You got this you know the storyline. The storyline seems fun. Um, maybe just the production of it wasn't great. I like I said, I, I really don't know. Uh, the director was Dwight H. Little. Um, so, and you got to remember too, in the eighties here in the United States, in the eighties, there was a lot of just kind of, um, I don't know. It just seemed like cheesy, not that good of movies. I don't, I don't know what was going on in the eighties. Now don't get, there were some great movies too, some great movies here in Hollywood. Um, but there were some really bad ones too. Um, so I, you know, who knows? I, I don't know. Um, what did you guys think? What did you guys think? Was that cool saying Rajini Khan speak in English? I think it was. So, uh, leave your comments down below, which you guys thought I would love to hear your thoughts. If you do want to watch this movie, um, I'm looking here at who released this. This trailer comes from Arrow Video. They're the ones that actually, I think, help uh, promote this video and everything. It says you can order in the UK, you can order in the US, you can order in Canada, you can order in... um, That's all it says there. So, um, anyhow... Um, go check that out. I'll leave the link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Okay. Now it is time to get to a quote of the day. And what I've been doing with quotes of the day lately, I'm just doing dad jokes, just funny dad jokes, because I think we all need a laugh. We just do. We just need a laugh. So we're going to do some more funny dad jokes. So here we go. Um, here is today's dad joke. And it goes like this. How does a penguin build its house? How does a penguin build its house? It glues it together. It glue it together like an igloo get it it glues it together <laughs> anyway that is the quote of the day hope you guys like this video um don't forget if you guys want to go get yourself a regini shirt you guys can head over to allmytees.com link will be down in the description go check them out and watch one of these videos over here see you guys next time bye hey.